All right. So it's time for us to uh, to write the LED flasher code. It's a very simple and straightforward process. So I advise you to follow me closely. I'm sorry, there's no turning back anymore. You have to, if you've gotten this far already, then uh, you're almost at the stage where you can now program a microcontroller by yourself, uh, view the circuit by yourself, and watch it work. There's, I can imagine how happy I was the first time I built an LED flash. The guy jumped around the whole house. I was screaming because it really, really took me many, took me a lot, it took me many months to try to figure it out. And so you're learning everything just now, and you're just learning, and it's everything is so smooth and so easy. It wasn't this; it's not usually this easy for if you are if you don't have somebody uh, leading you. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is, I will assume you're, that you're on your desktop. The first thing you're going to do is to create a folder where you're going to be keeping all your projects because we're going to, we're going to be doing lots of interesting projects or, yeah, lots of interesting projects. So you can go to new, create folder, and you can call the folder embedded, embedded C project, enter. Alright, so that's where you be this folder is going to contain all your projects but remember we're about to start a new project so let's go into the folder now double click i double click on the folder and then i need to create um i need to create um a folder in, in this inside this main folder i need to create another folder and call it led flasher because we are building an LED flasher project. Just the way I created this LED flasher folder, that is the way you are. I will also create more folders as we do more projects. So this LED flasher now will contain all my codes and and whatever is necessary to, to, to cook up that project. All right, so. <clears throat> Next, next stage is to launch the micro C program. All right, I've minimized my window. So this is a micro C program. Double click on it and it launches. All right, let's clean this, clean everything up. Close projects. I was doing some other projects before. Uh, no. All right, so forget about what's showing up there. Just go straight to project and then go to new project. This is what we're interested in. Then go to next. Next, 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 next. Then your project name, you can call it LED Flasher. And then the project folder, embedded C project. You find this folder through your browser as you're browsing for your files or folders. Then you select embedded C folder. Then you select LED flasher. You don't need to go inside. Just make sure that this LED flasher is it's highlighted, and then that this name is showing here as was uh, as the folder. Then press OK. Then you choose your microcontroller. The microcontroller can be found here. Uh, 16F7 to 16F6. Where is 16F6 to 7? No, no, no. 16F7 to, yeah, that is it. So you click it and the clock we're going to be using is 4 megahertz so you change it to 4 then next then next again the next again then open edit project we need to set configuration bit tick here and then click finish so you notice something 
it's asking you for the oscillator selection you can leave it at hs oscillator and then go straight to make sure here is still showing four then just click ok all right so take note of the take note of the title bar here, of the yeah of this title bar here it's desktop and basic projects led flash drive led flash drive dot mcppi if it is showing you anything other than i don't know what your name of your machine is i don't know what your text where you put your maybe you put your on a desktop or document but as but these embedded projects led flasher led flasher must conform if it doesn't conform to this it means you are doing another project entirely so led flasher must be here all right so uh, just ignore the red line sometimes micro sim misbehaves next thing you're going to have to do is to um go into the main program it's already written the main program for you so you type let me i'll first before i like the steps then when i write the code so from our circuit diagram the led was connected to port b and it was connected to the bit 2 of port b so everything we're going to be doing in our code is going to revolve around that bit so the first thing we need to do is i like doing something called called uh, configuration we need to first of all configure configure that particular pin that we're connecting the led to we have to configure that pin as as an output configure led pin as output and the next thing we need to do is to to clear the pin we need to clear the pin so that it will start at a known state. After that, uh, we can now start doing the main program. We can now start the main program. So let me now write the code that will configure the LED pin as output. It's simple. Just write trace b dot b two equal to zero. That's enough to turn that to configure that particular pin as an output. When you write zero to it to a, a bit it configures it as an output the trees is the register using configuring led pins trees is using configuring while to clear the pin we we'll write port b dot b2 equal to zero the port b this port b is used when you want to control the pin probably you want to turn on the led or turn it off or do something or something that has to do with the regular execution of the code but for configuration purposes the trace b is used in configuring the port b pins we'll go deeper into all these things later on so after that we need to open a while loop where the program will, will loop through and then port b dot b2 equal to one this will turn on the led then of course we delay and then for two seconds and then we will we'll turn off the beat and then delay again to see it off if you don't delay you won't see it off you won't see the led off so this is all we need to write and then we we'll build and everything will work well this turns on the led this waits for or rather it keeps the led on for two seconds this then turns off the LED and this line keeps the LED off for two seconds so now we're going to build so 
our beauty now and uh, successfully built said finish successfully so now we're going to go back to the LED flash out folder and when you get back there you will see that there are some new files that are that have been manufactured by the uh, micro C compiler so let's minimize this and then let's go back to the embedded C project open it Let flash yes this is what we're interested in this is all we're interested in this was our micro C project but this is the main file that we need this led flasher.hex this is the file that the microcontroller will use to flash the led this is the file that will burn into the microcontroller using the programmer so if you if you so when we start trying to burn the program you need to watch out and you need to know where this file is so you need to trace it down and make sure you get the correct file so next now we're going to be looking at how to to transfer this hex file into the microcontroller so that we can test everything <laughs> 